Hi everyone. Mathematics is the language of nature. Some say it's a subject. Of course, yes, it's a subject like botany, physics, zoology, etc. And also a language like German, Spanish, French, etc. Only difference is mathematics is the language of nature. Heard melodies are sweet, unheard are sweeter, said Keats. A mathematician can see the unseen and hears the unheard music and it is sweeter to him. And all those who can tune into that music or visualize into that painting do really see and really hear. The great Indian mathematician Sri Srinivasa Ramanujam said, An equation means nothing to me unless it expresses the thought of God. Galileo said, The great nature's book is written in the mathematical language. Like this, we can go on and on about the greatness of mathematics. There is not a branch of science which is left untouched by mathematics. We are now going to learn about the magic square which is a part of recreational mathematics and also a puzzle game which is based upon the concepts of magic square. I take pleasure in introducing Mr. T. N. Mahesh. Welcome sir. Thank you. He and his mother, Mrs. Indra Narsingha Rao, have been doing research in the field of magic square for the past few decades. Mahesh is following the footsteps of his mother and has discovered many new concepts in the field of magic square. He has recently invented a new puzzle game called Magic Square Puzzle. This puzzle game is based on arithmetic and logic. You can play this game online at www.magicsquarepuzzles.com. Sir, we are eager to know about the magic squares and your discoveries in the field. Please explain that to us. This magic square is a very old topic. A lot of people have done research work in the magic squares. There is a German mathematician called Euler. He is one of the greatest mathematicians of all times and he is ranked along with Jacobi and Ramanujan. And uh, he has uh, done a lot of work in magic squares. So, uh, next one is Benjamin Franklin has also done a lot of work in magic squares. He is an all-round personality, has done a lot of work in magic squares and he has created one Benjamin Franklin square. It is again an 8 by 8 square. His rows and columns give you 260, whereas his diagonals don't give you the 260. That's why it is called semi-magic square, but it is a very celebrated magic square in the academic circle. Our own great Indian mathematician, Srinivasa Ramanujan, he has discovered about 4,000 different formulas but his first was, works were in magic squares and he has given some concepts, some basic framework for the 4x4 magic squares. We are going to use the concepts that he has discovered in the 4x4 magic square to solve our magic square puzzle. And these concepts are also used in making birthday magic squares. Birthday yeah. magic square? Yeah. It's something very unique. Birthday magic squares or 4x4 magic squares and you can, it is, you can create a birthday magic square for any date of birth, wedding day, wedding anniversary, like that you can house housewarming ceremony for everything you can create a 4x4 magic square and uh, the, for this we are going to use this concept discovered by Srinivasa Ramanujan and there are many people who have done work on the magic squares like uh, Renacal D. Bessy, a French mathematician who lived in 17th century he has discovered some 880 different 4x4 magic squares so in my 4x4 magic square there are 880 magic squares as it was discovered by Renacal D. Bessy and after that H.E. Dudini who lived in the early part of the 20th century, he divided them into 12 different groups. Martin Gardner, an American, has written a lot about recreational mathematics in American journal, Scientific American. And he has written a lot about magic square also. He has written a number of articles about recreational mathematics. He was instrumental in kindling the interest of the Americans in the recreational mathematics. And he has also written a lot about the magic squares. Albert Dürer, he has created one 4x4 magic square. It's a very celebrated magic square in the academic circle. Like this, there are a lot of people, both Indians and foreigners, who have done extensive work in the field of magic squares. I'll, now I'll tell you about magic squares. A magic square is an arrangement of numbers from 1 to n square in an n by n matrix with each number occurring exactly once and such that the sum of entries of any row, any column or any main diagonals is the same. Magic squares are basically divided into two types. One is odd order magic squares. Another one is even order magic, magic squares. Odd order magic squares are 3 by 3, 5 by 5, 7 by 7, etc. Even beyond 1001 by 1001. These are all odd order magic squares. Okay. That's a celebrated method to construct an odd order magic square. It is called De La Labre method. He served as an ambassador of uh, France in Siam or Thailand. And there he came to know about this method. It is called by his name, but he didn't discover it. Actually, he learned it from Thailand, actually. And that's a, that's a very celebrated method to consider the odd order magic square. Again, even order magic squares are divided into two types. Singly even, doubly even. 
single even is 6 by 6 10 by 10 14 by 14 etc that is 6 10 and 14 that this will by 2 but they are not this by 4 that is the reason it is called single even order magic square doubly even order magic squares are those numbers that are divisible by 2 and also divisible by 4 like 4 by 4 8 by 8 12 by 12 etc here the numbers 4 8 and 12 are divisible by 2 and also divisible by 4 there are many methods by which one can consider singly even and double, double even order magic squares. I have discovered a few of such methods. 